Hello all, hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to see a polyamine. Before going into details of polyamines, please subscribe my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. The first, biogenic amine. So biogenic amines are basically formed by the decarboxylation of amino acids and these amines are called as a biogenic amine and they have got diverse biological function. This decarboxylation reaction is generally mediated by pyridoxal phosphate and this pyridoxal phosphate it is the coenzyme of vitamin B6 that is pyridoxine. So the important biogenic amines which are formed by the decarboxylation of amino acid are first one is the gamma amino butyric acid which is formed from the glutamate then serotonin and melatonin serotonin is a Again, a neurotransmitter which regulates the cerebral activity and melatonin is the hormone which regulates the sleep wake cycle, means it regulates the circadian rhythm. Third one is the histamine which is formed from the histidine and it mediates the allergic reaction as well as it is a very good vasodilator. Fourth one is the catecholamines. Catecholamines examples are dopamine, norepinephrine and epinephrine. So this is the picture showing the synthesis of various biogenic amines by PLP dependent decarboxylation reaction. First one is the synthesis of GABA which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter from glutamate. Then synthesis of serotonin and melatonin from the tryptophan. Then synthesis of histamine from the histidine. And synthesis of various catecholamines like dopamine, norepinephrine and epinephrine from kerosene. Now, what are the polyamines? So polyamines are basically biological amines which is made up of multiple amino acids. They are called as a polyamines. And the example of polyamines are phytrisin, spermidin, and the third one is the spermin. So these are the three uh, important polyamines. And these polyamines are basically positively charged at physiological pH and it can very well associate it with negatively charged nuclear DNA. And they are present in high concentration in semen. Now, functions of polyamine. So the first important function of polyamine is they act as a growth, pe growth factor and function in the cell prolifer proliferation and growth. They regulate the activity of transcription and translation and polyamines are also involved in the stabilization of intact cells, subcellular organelles and the membrane. So these are the important function of the polyamines. Main important function is they act as a growth factor and function in the cell proliferation and growth. That's why their level increased in case of cancer. Now, clinical significance of polyamine. So, as we have seen in the previous slide, that they play an uh, important role as a growth factor and uh, they play important role in the cell growth and as well as differentiation. So, uh, this polyamines and their derivatives have application in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer because their level is going to increase during cell growth as well as in the differentiation. So, the measurement of urinary as well as blood polyamines have been used to detect the cancer and determine the success of therapy that is act as a diagnostic indicator. So that is the clinical significance of polyamine. Now synthesis of polyamine. So the polyamines are mainly synthesized from two amino acids that is ornithine and methionine. That is the that are the amino acid from which this putrescine, spermidine and spermine are synthesized that is ornithine and methionine. Ornithine is uh, it is derived from the arginine and it is presumed that 15% of methionine is used for the polyamine synthesis. So this is the pathway showing the synthesis of polyamine. So the first there is a synthesis of ornithine from arginine with the help of arginase enzyme. Then this ornithine undergoes decarboxylation reaction with the help of enzyme ornithine decarboxylase and it leads to the synthesis of putrescine that is the first polyamine synthesized that is putrescine. Then 
This adenosyl methionine also undergoes decarboxylation reaction with the help of S adenosyl methionine decarboxylase and it lead to, leads to synthesis of S adenosyl methylamine. Now, this S adenosyl methylamine it donates the amino propyl group to the putrescine and it leads to synthesis of spermidin with the help of spermidin synthase. Fine. Again, this as adenosyl methylpropylamine, it donates the amino propyl group to the spermidin and it leads to the synthesis of spermin and the enzyme is spermin synthase. So that's how this three important polyamines are synthesized from, from ornithine and methionine. And this ornithine gets synthesized from arginine and the important polyamines are Putrescin is the first one which is synthesized. Then from the putrescin, there is a synthesis of spermidin. And from the spermidin, there is a synthesis of spermin. Now, catabolism and excretion of polyamine. So, these polyamines are basically uh, catabolized by the polyamine oxidase, which is present in the liver peroxisomes, which oxidize. Spermine to the spermidin and spermidin to the putrescin. After that, this putrescin is again oxidized by the diamine oxidi oxidase enzyme to the carbon dioxide and ammonia. So, this is how catabolism of polyamines occur. And so, now these are the various multiple choice questions asked in a a various uh, entrance examination. So the first uh, first question was asked in a NEAT 2017. So biological amines are synthesized by A. Methylation, B. Acetylation, C. Carboxylation and D. Decarboxylation reaction. So we have seen in the beginning that these biological amines are synthesized by PLP dependent decarboxylation reaction. So the correct answer is B, that is decarboxylation means removal of carbon dioxide. Second question is polyamines are synthesized by except A methionine, B ornithine, C arginine, and D cysteine. So as we have seen that uh, three polyamines are uh, there, that is putrescine, spermidine, and spermine. And all these three are synthesized by methionine and ornithine. And this ornithine is again synthesized from arginine. So A, B, C are correct. And the uh, A, B, C are the amino acid which leads to synthesis of polyamine. But the question is polyamines are synthesized by except. So the correct answer is D, cysteine. Third question, it is asked in AIMS 2010. Examples of polyamines are all except A. Putrescine, B. Spermidine, C. Histamine, and D. Spermine. So the example of polyamines are all except. So the correct answer is C. Histamine. Histamine is not an example of polyamines. Histamine is an example of biogenic amines, while other three are the example of polyamines. So this, are, this was the multiple question related to the polyamine. These are my reference. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notification from Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit.